Welcome to Kalisa Friendship Unit. My name is Chris. I am here with Jeremy. Hey, what's up? Jake. Hey, guys. And Brian. What's going on? Guys, Valve is back into making games. Perhaps the biggest game that we would have never seen coming. Looks like we might finally be done with these Half-Life 3 memes because we are getting Half-Life Alex, Valve's flagship VR title, and we're going to talk all about it. But before we do, guys, we are not currently doing a giveaway. We're looking for uh, the winner of our most recent giveaway for the Crash Bandicoot Trilogy. Uh, but we are almost always doing a giveaway, so sub us if you love us. And you're going to be seeing footage of uh, Half-Life running natively on the Oculus Quest. And there's going to be a tutorial on how to do that coming out in the next few days. Another reason to be subscribed. All right, guys. So Half-Life Alex, Valve is making games. There's a lot to unpack here. This is like the first Half-Life title since 2004's Half-Life 2. And I mean, there were, you know, subsequential episodes, but that I, I don't know. I don't think anyone expected this. Like, how do we feel about this? How do we feel about how do we feel about Valve making games? How do we feel about Valve making Half-Life and how do we feel about this Half-Life game being VR flagship title? I mean, it's going to be good. Like the, the fucking Left 5 Dead, Left 4 Dead and Left 5 Dead, those are those are class those are both Valve games and they're classics. Like they're just well done. You know, the the and I would say this about about Half Life too. Like the the graphics haven't aged well, but nothing from that era has. Like the but the way the games are put together and thought out, like they just they know what they're doing. Yeah, starting with Valve making games, I'm pumped. I mean, they definitely fell flat on their face with Artifact, but they've had enough history of like fantastic legendary games that. I'm excited that they're making a new game and honestly more excited that they're dipping their toes into VR because they have such a history of making fantastic games. Maybe this will be a, one of those breakout VR games that will kind of propel the, the VR industry forward. And not just like good games, but creative games. If there was a studio that I would trust to do something interesting with VR, it would definitely be Valve. Yeah, I, I want to talk about that in particular and then I, I do want to talk about if like half-life is even still really relevant i mean i think we're all kind of excited for it but like holy shit is it old like we're in our mid-20s and we're almost a little too old for half-life or young sorry young yeah, for half-life yeah like the first game came out in 1998 that's uh that's a we're long in time kindergarten yeah we, were, yeah we were young <laughs> so like i mean that's something i want to dive into but i was thinking about this like valve just made the the valve index the vr headset we've talked about it a few times it's on our vr playlist i'm doing some shameless plugs tonight man um but yeah we they they made this a thousand dollar headset and unlike the htc vibe where they at least had a partnership now they're like all in this is their headset and like normal consoles and hardware manufacturers usually you make software to compel people to buy that so it was only a matter of time right and I was thinking that I was like, why hasn't Valve made any games for this yet? And I guess here we are. Well, but they also have Steam, which is like the predominant yeah. distribution but platform like, on most PCs. So I like, think this is the reason Stadia is failing, though, because they don't have any exclusives. Like every yeah, game that you yeah, there's no reason to platform. get it exactly. And and I get that VR is to an extent everything on there is kind of an exclusive in that it's. There's very very few pl ways you can play the games, but still, like Oculus has tons of exclusives. Yeah, you bring up a good point that like Valve definitely is producing like the Ferraris of VR right now. Like they are the most expensive, most advanced. Oh, well, maybe not most advanced, but they're the most expensive headset out there. Um, so. I'm wondering if this VR game is going to follow along with that. Is this going to be the most high fidelity, best looking VR game we've seen to date to go along with their headset? Or will this just be a, a good VR game? If you're putting the name Half-Life on it, 
you have to expect that Valve is going to go absolutely balls to the walls on this. That's my yeah, thought, at least. It's not right. going to be underdone. Like, like, if it's like a fucking, like... Yeah, like, I just remember, like, Portal Bridge Builder is, like, something that just popped into my head, where, like, the, the Portal IP was used for a Bridge Builder game. If this was Half-Life Bridge Builder, people would be pretty fucking mad. I think they learned the lesson from making a card game, Artificer, off of Dota, that, like, you can't do that. Right. And, like, we're, I, I'm not going to go buy a Valve Index if this game is not fucking fantastic. I'm just going to go buy an Oculus Quest for, like, 300 bucks and go play it. So and, you're right. They they have to go all the way. And like the last time Valve was in this position, you know, trying to push people onto their new uh, platform, which at the time was Steam. You know, what new game did they come out with to attract people? Half Life Two was good. There you go. Bam, bam, bam. Well, yeah. I mean, let's. Well, you made a good point though. Last last time a Half Life game came out was when Steam came out. Most people don't even remember a time before Steam. What, like. Is, this, is Half-Life, I mean, again, excited, but is Half-Life even relevant anymore? Like, Yeah, dude. Yeah. Area 51 stays just as relevant every day. That's true. We all love it. We all want to go there. I think yeah, I can't think of, VR. I can't think of anything else that has had this much popularity and internet fame for a decade without a single thing being released about it. The kids love the memes. The memes are keeping yeah. it alive. But, I mean, they probably could have released any game. But I mean, this is this just this drives up the hype, drives up the fanfare that much more. Yeah, yeah, and and so I mean, this is they're not calling it Half Life Three, but that is something I want to talk about a little later. They're calling it Half Life Alex. Alex is almost definitely the way it's spelled. Alex Vance, who was a non-playable character in Half Life Two, had a pretty big role in the game, a very big role in the game, and was like a pretty pretty beloved character. So I have two theories on this. One is could just be like a spin-off. Like obviously they don't want to put the number three on it. That would be a little like because then then the hype would just be absolutely ludicrous and you wouldn't be able to live up to it. So it might just be a spin-off. Or Valve did say that they are making Valve themselves are making three games for VR for their Valve Index. Uh, this could be like a three-part series that is Half-Life 3. Like you get Half-Life Alex, Half-Life Gordon for Gordon Freeman, and Half-Life something else. Or, you know, something like that. I think the first one. Just a spinoff? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, there are sources that are saying that it's a prequel. Well, I, I think you run into a problem with putting a franchise into VR because it changes a lot of how everything is put together, I guess. So, I mean, we're not really at the point where it's like the VR stuff is completely seamless. Like, it's pretty good, but it's not like 100%. And you kind of have... It, it seems like VR games are designed, like, differently. It's not a bad thing, but the like the what you're thinking about or what they're thinking about when they're designing the game is is different from a traditional game that you play you know with a mouse and keyboard or controller so i can see it as like a spin off that turns into something that's not half-life 3 mm -hmm. like i i agree with everything that you said regarding that except for it's half-life 3 does it open the door to half-life 3 being a more realistic make now because Half Life episode or Half Life Two episode two ended on a huge cliffhanger, and they did say they were going to finish it like however long ago it was. But then Steam made them too much money. Like, does this kind of like creak open the door? No, I, I don't think I don't know. There's just yeah, but... there's too much hype out there. I don't think they are going to want to touch that with the ten foot pole. All right. Why put out a game that like can't possibly live up to expectations? Right. People are just going to be mad at you. Unless the, like, reception to this is overwhelmingly positive or something. Or, you know, it makes them enough money. Then they might. Right, Maybe. but even... Like, even this, I'm sure they're going to dump a shit ton of money in here. And probably part of the ROI equation is selling Valve indexes, not necessarily just selling the game. 
Yeah, I so. think it's primarily selling Valve indexes. I'm not even convinced it's like going to be a full length quote unquote game. It says going to be a full know. length VR game. So yeah, yeah but VR is a crucial modifier there. That. Yeah, right. could, well, yeah. full length VR could be six hours. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of expecting. That's still yeah. that for VR. That's pretty good. Yeah, but for like games, it's not. Well, so that that's like that's like kind of the last thing I had. If we have anything else, we can go into it. Um, Half Life and Portal are known for some of like the most beloved and unique, not guns, but guns. Where Portal, you have the Portal gun, and Portal is in kind of the, the it's in the same world, right? Uh, and we could talk about if there's going to be Portal tie-ins. And Half Life has the gravity gun, which is also very famous. Do we th can, like can we picture and and physics based puzzles? So Portal is like spatial based puzzles and physics. There's like inertia, momentum, that kind of thing. And uh, the part of the selling point for Half Life was the physics engine in the Source engine, where you could like use the relative weight of objects to, uh, you know, use levers and stuff like that. Do we? I think that fits really well for VR, like that style of physics based puzzle solving. I think you're gonna make people violently sick doing that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Like, if like, all like of a sudden, just... gravity was just turned off, and you. No, 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 no. Sorry, the gravity gun. Uh, there's like a pull and a push, and the pull, it's a gun, right? So you, if there's a saw blade on the ground, you pull the saw blade to your gun, and then you push it, and you shoot it at someone, it cuts them in half. Yeah. Yeah, I think they'll have. I mean, the gravity gun Lots definitely will be there. Portal. I would say is definitely not going to be there. There's probably nothing more vomit inducing than jumping through portals. Yeah, like that would yeah, be funny like, though. That's not gonna be but good. it's I'm vomit sure inducing you're... on a fucking PC, let alone a VR headset. Right. I'm sure they'll come up with something good though, right? That I think this I have a lot of faith in Valve that they'll come up with something very, very good. Yeah. My expectations are high that we will see something in VR that we have not seen before. I totally agree. Yeah, probably. All right. Well, do we have any any last points or things you want to talk about? All right. Sounds good. What should our uh, what should our Half Life Alex fans be doing right about now, Brian? Well, if if you're mainly concerned about the fact that you're pronouncing that Alex and not Alex. Which is it, you know, clearly from how it's spelled. Go ahead and hammer your thoughts on that, even though you're wrong down in the word box there. And uh, like Chris said at the beginning of the video, uh, we do a lot of giveaways on this channel. And if you subscribe, you could win some Steam codes or something cool like that. So go ahead and click that subscribe button because, you know, if you watch this far, you probably liked it. And uh, smoke them if you got them, guys. That's all for me tonight, Chris. All right. Thank you, Brian. Catch you guys next time.